Hello everybody, today we will be discussing how to set up Neo4j into Eclipse using Maven. For that we would have to plug in Maven into Eclipse. Uh, browse to this website eclipse.org m2e update site and kitags. Here when you scroll down you will find m2e releases. These are the different ma Maven releases. You can select whichever release you want. I am selecting the latest 1.1 and I, I have to uh, save this particular link because this is my Maven uh, plugin that I am uh, that I would like to include in Eclipse. Now go to Eclipse, click on help, scroll down to install new software, go to add, here the name can be of your choice. I would say Maven Eclipse plugin and location is what we have uh, saved from the Eclipse uh, web portal from here. OK and then click OK. So when we click OK, Eclipse, is, uh, Eclipse has looked up the name Maven integration for Eclipse. You have to select it and then click Next. When you click Next, it is calculating all the requirements. These are the two items that it gives us options to install. I would select both of them. Second one is optional, but I would select it and then click Next. And then I have to accept the license agreement and then finish. It is installing the software for me, so it is installing Maven as a plugin. Once it is done, uh, then I can go ahead and uh, include Neo4j into it. So, what Maven does is into the form.xml file, I need to add Neo4j as one of the dependencies. So, Maven is once you add any dependency, it would uh, download all the required jar files into the build path automatically into the project. So the main thing is we have to add Neo4j into the build path of the project that we want to work on. So now when we see after the, the update is done, it will give us an option you can restart the Eclipse or apply changes now. I would select restart now. So now after Eclipse has uh, restarted, uh, this is our uh, welcome page because we have done integration of Maven into Eclipse. Uh, it gives us the new welcome page. You can go in and detail to see what are the features. I would go into Workbench. This is my previous Workbench. To include Neo4j, what I'll do is right click New. I would say Other. And here, what I would be searching for Maven Project. I would search for the Maven project, select it and click next. And then uh, it will use the default work location. You can create a simple project, but I would not select anything advanced, any advanced modes, but I would let everything to be default. Click next. And then here I would be, it gives me options of filtering. I would just click next, default. So this is the group ID. So whatever the group ID that you want to give in. This is mainly where we include uh, Neo4j. So for that, I would browse, go into Neo4j.org. Okay, and then I would go to Downloads. When you scroll down, here you would find the Maven uh, information that you need. So this is the group ID and artifact. So group ID is org.neo4j, org.neo4j and artifact ID is neo4j, neo4j and the version is 1.8.rc1. I'm not sure whether it will give me the option but uh, 1.8.rc1. RC1 and then I would click finish. So it's creating the Maven project for me. Okay, and you see the Maven die right in here. So when you click on here, you see the Maven dependencies. You see the JUnit jar and then JRE system library, you see JRE system library tags and source. And you open form.xml file in the form.xml file 
So now you see the palm.xml file. Now in this we need to add the Neo4j as a dependency. Select this, copy, go to Eclipse and create a new dependency and then click save. Once you click save, what Maven does, Maven adds all the Neo4j jars automatically into the Neo4j project that we have selected. So this is how we Select sorry, we import a uh, new 4J into Eclipse using Maven project. I hope this tutorial is helpful. Thank you.